Okay, so uh, today we are going to try to keep this short and quick, if everything goes right. It's actually the second time I'm recording this. The first time I got through it all, but then I found out that my right clicks and my pop-up menus, nothing was showing up. So here I am doing it again. Anyways, so what we're doing today is we're stacking. Stacking prints and inserting a pet G separator with bamboo slicer. So let's see how that goes. All right. So I'm going to be using a multi board tile since I'm doing a multi board setup. So, okay, so right now we have one multi board tile. And if we look at it, it is. Six point four millimeters thick. Now, normally, if you just copy and paste a second tile, let's say, and you want to stack it on top of the first one, and you go move, and, and you're like, oh, let's just put this on top, it just drops to the ground, and it won't let you. So, what you have to do is start with one, right click, center on the board, paste another one, center that one so that they're in the same spot, and then you're going to control A, which uh, will select everything, or I'm not sure there's like a command A on the Mac if you're using Mac, and then you right click and you merge those together. And if you go into your objects, you will see them as an assembly. At this point, what you want to do is raise one above the other. So these prints are 6.4 millimeters thick. And I want to insert two layers between them and they're 0.2 millimeters each. So that's 0.4 total. So that means we have to raise the top one, 6.8. That'll leave us with a gap. So what we're gonna do is just go into the move coordinates, 6.8. And that now lets us stack them. Remember, that only works because we've merged them. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. So now we have two prints, one's hovering over the other with a 0.4 gap. OK, so at this point, the modeling is done. You can do this over and over again, depending how many pieces you want to stack. But let's just do a two today. So what you need is a base material. Right, I'm using PLA. And you need a support material, and I'm using PETG because PET G and PLA don't stick to each other, and so that comes off really clean. Uh, so we're going to be doing this with supports. But ideally, you would do it with a very thin print. If you had a model that's used as a spacer, I would do that instead. It is cleaner when it prints. But with supports works as well. Uh, so that's what we're going to try today. So what we're going to do is I'm using um, 0.2 layers, 0.4 nozzles. My um, PLA setup is set up to have the cool plate at 45 degrees. And in order for the PETG to work with PLA, it also has to have the same bed temperature. Normally PETG has like zero degrees for the cool plate because you don't normally print the cool plate with PETG. So make sure that your the PETG you're using for support it is set to 45 or whatever your cool plate temperature is. And at this point, then if we go into, you know, once you dial in all your settings that you would normally use for printing, on support, you leave your leave PLA as the base for the raft, and you use the PETG only as an interface material. So that means it's just filling the gaps. And all the other settings for support you can basically zero out well for the most part i'm you know i'm setting the density to 100 percent i'm putting zero you can probably check you know compare your settings to mine but i'm basically zeroing out uh everything oh don't forget to turn on the course that's important um turn them on turn them to snug that way they don't it doesn't create a big scaffold around the part and um, let's see, also remove small overhang. Sometimes it'll add a bit of extra. You don't want it to put support anywhere else. That way you'd have minimum layer changes. So we're basically zeroing out Z top distance, bottom distance, 
uh, spacing patterns. Uh, the only thing that's basically not zeroed here is the density and the normal support expansion. And what that is, is sometimes when it has supports, it makes it bigger. And so it overhangs a little bit. I don't really want it to overhang. I just want it to be the exact same size as the, as the model itself or close to it. So I did a little bit of subtraction there, um, but you can play with that to see what works best for you. It may not matter. You might be able to leave it at zero and it probably won't make a difference. And that is basically it. So, so when I slice this, see, it's working on it. Hopefully this works. Maybe I forgot something. Sure, it's taking its time. And here we go. All right. Oh, it looks like my my support pillar is, uh, or my uh, prime tower is not in the right position. So I do have to move that so it doesn't get cut off. But if you look at the uh, preview, you can see that it's in it's putting in the petchy in between. So that's what we want. And I'm going to move my support pillar, but there we go. And that's basically it. And um, yeah, and I'll show you the end result. Um, I did one earlier, and I'll show you that. And uh, yeah, it turned out pretty well. So hopefully this is helpful to you for doing stacking. There are other ways to do stacking uh, without um, another material where you can like separate them just by like a 0.1 or 0.2 and just have the material on top of itself and just like it would with regular supports and have them crack off. I don't find this is that that reliable. Um, so I prefer to put Petchy in there, um, but that's also possible if you don't have a multicolor machine or don't want to do the hassle of swapping materials mid print. Anyways, enjoy. Take care. Looks like the print is done. Excellent. So, I'm trying to get this in focus. It was three sets separated by a PET G layer. Oh, the blue is PLA. So, let's see how this separates. Pull that pop right off. Okay, let's see here. It's already starting to delaminate. That should be a very good sign. Printed very clean. Oh, look at that. That's nice. This is already starting to come apart. Very nice. And I did print the, P the pet J layers. It's two layers. I think two or three. So hope. Hopefully that it'll come off in one piece, and that's just like nothing. So that was really good. Let's try these ones. Wow, that's pretty incredible. All right. Well, that little piece there was a success.